one of our major colligative properties is boiling point. Now, the boiling point of a solution is higher than that of the solvent that makes up that solution. So, for example, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, and if I add a solute to that solvent and create a solution, the boiling point of that solution will be elevated. It will be higher than the normal boiling point of just the solvent water. So here's a question that will get us to a calculation-based um, approach of how to solve for the boiling point of our new solution. So what is the boiling point of a solution created by dissolving 11.0 grams of potassium sulfate and 200 grams of H2O? Now the equation that governs this particular problem, as we know, is delta T sub B equals I times K sub B times M, which is the molality. Now, if we just have a little refresher here of what our knowns and unknowns are, I is the Van Hoff factor which essentially relies on the substance that you're using or the solute that's going to <clears throat> be solvated here or dissolved in solution. Here we have K2SO4. As we know, one mole of K2SO4 will result in three moles of particles. Because K2SO4 involves two potassium ions and one sulfate ion. So the I factor in this case would be three because I have one, two, three particles being dissolved in solution when K2SO4 is solvated. Now K sub B relies on my solvent. The K sub B in this case relies on water, H2O, and it's a constant which is 0 0.51 excuse me degrees Celsius per molal. Now, delta T sub B is a change in temperature, and specifically a change in boiling point from your normal solvent to your elevated boiling point of your solution. And molality is equal to your moles of solute divided by your kilograms of your solvent. Now we don't know moles of solute here, we just have that we have 11 grams of our solute. So to calculate we can take 11 grams of our solute, use the molar mass of our solute, um, K2SO4, the molar mass of our solute is approximately 174.27 grams per one mole of our solute. And I'm going to leave off the K2SO4 labels because we know we're dealing with just that one substance, K2SO4, as far as my solute is concerned. So moles of solute there divided by kilograms of solvent. I have 200 grams of H2O, which is my solvent, so that gives me 0 0.2000 kilograms of my solvent. So my molality is equal to, when all is said and done, 0 0.0, is that actually, excuse me, no it's not, Zero point three one six molals. So we have our molarity. So we have that value, we have KB, K sub B, we have I, now we can solve. So delta T sub B equals I times K sub B times your molality. We're going to solve for delta T sub B first. You know that I is 3, K sub B is 0 0.51 degrees Celsius per molal, and your molality is 0 
Oh, wow. Now if we solve this delta T sub B equals 0 0.48 degrees Celsius. Now this isn't the final answer. This is the change in boiling point, not the actual boiling point of our new solution. So we know we're talking about boiling point elevation. So we have to take the normal boiling point of water, or our solvent, which is 0, sorry, 100 degrees Celsius. Let me know this temperature is being elevated when we add solute. So we add the elevation here, which is the change in temperature. If we add this together, we get 100.5 degrees Celsius if I account for significant figures. And this is our new boiling point of our solution. So that's how you would calculate the boiling point of a solution given the Venthoff constant, the case of B, and the molality.